let's talk about the Matrix. <laughs> I know Matrix is kind of like a burner word. It's a... Uh, when people hear the Matrix, they immediately think to Andrew Tate. Because he's like the biggest... He's the guy who's like profiting off the Matrix. The idea of the Matrix. But what actually is the Matrix? What is he talking about? Let's um think to... How do you get rich in a modern society? Nobody really teaches you how to get rich. These days it's like invest in stocks. I don't know. Work super hard. Nobody... The conventional education system doesn't tell you how to get rich, and that's because it's not made to make you rich. The education system, going to school, it's meant to make you reliant on a boss. It's not supposed to make you a free thinker. The point of the school is just basically to prime you and... What's it called? Prepare you to work like a 9-to-5 job. Go, go to college, get in debt work at some dead-end job <laughs> and pay off your debt until it's like and then by the time you pay off the debt you you're like already on this job and it's too late to like change direction so that's kind of like the matrix the matrix makes uh nine to five workers it makes people for doing the heavy lifting manual labor ma manual laborers people who work the shitty jobs in a society nobody teaches you how to become an entrepreneur there's no edu the education system doesn't teach you to become an entrepreneur, uh, like high paid, one of these. It doesn't teach you to become an individual thinker because that would allow you to break the system to get more money and shit. And you might think this is fucked up, but like, uh, you, let's see you propose a better system. The Matrix is good at its job, and it's, it's there for a reason. There has to be people on the bottom for there to pe be people at the top. There can't be CEOs if there's no employee. There can't be a boss if there's no employees because then <laughs> you're not a boss if you don't have employees b below you. You're not and you're not a entrepreneur. You're not Jeff Bezos if you don't have people working in the working the sweatshops, making the clothes, working in the factories, boxing stuff, UPS drivers. You don't have that empire without the people on the bottom to <laughs> and. That's just how the system works. There's no solution to this. Other than pe some people just find their way out of it. Some people aren't content with just working the 9 to 5. Some people aren't happy with just... Um, the word I was looking for was mediocrity. Some people aren't comfortable just living in mediocrity. And doing what their parents did before them. Which is like working, going to school, going to college. Just getting a job. Some people aren't comfortable with just a job. They want to work at their own pace. They want to be an entrepreneur, be a free thinker, and they don't want a boss telling them what to do. So just some people, like Andrew Tate, all these successful high people that you see, Andrew Tate, Hamza, uh, Elon Musk, Joe Rogan, these people, they don't, they're not the employees that that the education system is going to lead you to become. They took a different path. They branched away from where they saw the education system was taking them. They don't want to become just some regular employee. They escaped the matrix, basically. The matrix is... So then let's talk about the movie The Matrix, because that's basically why what where the idea comes from. In the movie The Matrix, there's a it's a situation where the robots take over and they use the humans for their body heat, and they put this them in this fake reality. It's not real, where they're taken advantage of and used for their body heat. That sounds familiar to you. Basically, in this situation, the robots are the CEOs, the bosses, the entrepreneurs, and they. These high, these people, these officials that are higher up, and they're using these um, graduates from schools, students, nine to five workers, and they use them for their efforts and their energy, their manual labor, and they they pay them a fraction of the cost that it gives them. It, they get <laughs> they pay them a fraction of what they make, so and they keep the money. So 
that's basically the robots. They use the humans for their body heat and in turn give them this fake reality. So now you know what the Matrix is. Now you know where it's going to lead you down. How do you escape the Matrix? The first, the best way to escape the Matrix is to, I think network is going to be the best way to escape the Matrix. You need to find people who have escaped the Matrix and learn from them to escape. <laughs> find, like, people outside the Matrix are Andrew Tate, Hanza, just these rich people, rich, rich people. They have escaped the Matrix. And you go to them, you watch their YouTube channels, you watch Andrew Tate's YouTube, you see his advice that he's giving, and you, like, kind of follow it, and eventually you're going to break free of the Matrix. You gotta just find a different path. Andrew Tate goes in better description of how you escape the Matrix. But basically it's just networking. If you can network with people outside the Matrix, network with these high CEO officials that are outside of the Matrix, and going back in like uh, Morpheus, like going back into the Matrix to try to pull people out with them, you need to find a Morpheus, which is gonna be people like Andrew Tate, high paid officials, blah, 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 and use them to escape the matrix. I, my communication skills suck then, probably because I was like, yapping.